Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're having a wonderful day and that you are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a jewelry box unboxing of the new Stacker jewelry box that I ordered. I'm so excited to have these added into my collection. Now you probably have seen on my channel, my more recent video, I did a full like Pandora collection organization video with my replacement stackers jewelry boxes in the blush and the rose gold detailing. I love those stackers jewelry boxes, they're beautiful. And if you wanna see that video, I'll leave a link up above the screen right now. So these ones, as you can see behind me, and there's one like right over here, they're gonna be a place where I'm gonna store, hopefully, my elf beads, Aurora charms, troll beads, ogre beads, maybe Alex and Ani, own beads perhaps. I do have my own beads play trays, but thinking that maybe and hopefully there can be enough room to kind of fit in everything. So it's just well organized. And I just really want to organize my beautiful pieces and everything just because when I get ready for the day, it's so helpful just to see like everything in its place organized. So it's just easy to get ready and everything. So if you're ready to take a little look at all the new stackers jewelry trays that I have picked up, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea or your trace of beverage. I actually have this beautiful mug that my friend made for me. So it's like extra special. Her name is Natalie and she just did this gorgeous job. I put some ceremonial matcha from Paragon tea rum inside it with some oat milk. This is actually their ginger ceremonial matcha. It's so good. So I'm going to be enjoying this. So virtual cheers and let's get started with today's video. So here is a look at all the jewelry boxes, jewelry trays inside the box when it came in. They really well packages all Stackers jewelry boxes usually come in here. When I ordered from Stackers Canada, they also came packaged like this. So they're very secure. You can, this actually was open. I ordered this through the States and when it came through with like duty and all of that stuff, they opened the box. So I could tell that they had opened it, but I was so glad that nothing had been cut into or anything. Here's a quick look at all the different stackers jewelry boxes you are gonna be seeing. And also, can you hear little Dino, my little dog in the background? Dino, what are you doing? Dino, what are you doing? <laughs> Dino. <laughs> All right, so here is a look at my new Stackers jewelry boxes. I was so excited when my order came in. If you're interested in any of the jewelry trays and like jewelry boxes that I'm showing, I will have links down below in the description bar on where you can find them. Some of those links may be affiliate links, which means I do earn a small percentage of the sale if you decide to purchase one of the items. A huge thank you in advance if you do use those links. It really does help me out a lot. I do have, like I know Stackers is hard to find sometimes. So there's places you can find them in the States. In Canada, we also have options too. It's harder to find the charm specific ones. So those ones I'm gonna link, I'm also gonna link like ones that are similar, like they're Stackers, but they might not be necessarily the charm specific ones. So some of here and here, for instance, I have charm specific ones, but they're also like the traditional stacker jewelry box trays as well because they can be equally really helpful organizing charm bracelets and all of that too so yeah definitely check those links out if you're curious to find these items all has also have links for like the uk and things too i'll try my hardest to like find i found a couple good websites where you can find them so i'll try to link everything i can find there because i get a lot of questions asking where do i where to find stackers so hopefully those will be helpful for you and then basically what I did is I already organized my trays on how I want the actual jewelry boxes to look. So I think what I'll do, I'll start off with one and then we'll go on to the other one. So let's start with this one. Now, as you're probably seeing, I have this here. So I'm just gonna quickly share a look at this with you guys. So this is the clear display lid. And I actually got this to go on my stack of jewelry boxes during my Pandora collection. I have a little tray. Actually, you know what? Let me go grab it and I'll show you. So I have this little Sacrifice jewelry tray. It's like beautiful, it's their charm specific one. And then you can get this lid and it just basically attaches up on the top of it. So I was really tempted, I've been really debating about getting one of these. So finally, I just was like, there was a sale on the website that I got this from where I think it was like, I'd say 15% off of it or something like that. I can't quite remember what the deal was when I ordered, but I was like, you know what, this is so worth it to grab. I'm just gonna put this here right now. Now it's gonna come up a little closer so you guys can take a look at it. 
So here is what the clear um, display lid looks like. It's just made of acrylic. It's really nice. And then obviously I haven't taken off any of the packaging yet. There's some plastic on here, but that's like a quick little, you can kind of see <laughs> the reflection there. I thought this would just be a really nice way just to prevent dust and everything from going into that like little tray. If you did watch um, that video, I keep, mentioning, I keep mentioning it. I do have my jewelry boxes stored on like a little glass table. So technically there's already glass over it, but I think this just will extra kind of prevent like dust and things from going going in it and you still get to see how beautiful like your jewelry and everything looks like on display so I'm very excited for this item okay so now we're going to take a look at this little jewelry box that I put together with the different stackers jewelry boxes I'm really excited to share with this with you guys so let's start off with the lid so I have it in plastic right now now all the colors you're seeing by the way I got this in the pebble gray I was tempted to like should I do blush again but I just thought, you know what, it would be nice to have like a different color option and kind of just helps me organize like where things are. This lid though, you've seen before, I'm actually just gonna take it out of the plastic, but I'll just kind of quickly share with you with the plastic on what it looks like. So that's a quick look with the packaging. Actually, I'm holding it upside down. Let me just hold it here. So here's a quick little look so you can kind of see. And then this one is called the Lidded Charm Jewelry Box. Let me opening up. All right, let's take the plastic off of it so you guys can see a look at it. I'm just gonna put that there. So here is another little look. It's made of this beautiful faux leather material. It's very durable and strong. It has a little silver closure that locks. And then, oh my gosh. Here is a look of it inside. They have some little packaging and everything and a little, little absorber for moisture. I'm just gonna hold this up so you guys can see. So if you, I do have other videos sharing my blush stack of jewelry boxes, I believe from, I think it was 2022 when I filmed those videos, if you wanna take a look. But, cause I show a lot more like up close detail in those videos, but this is just like a quick reference point. So you have all these places to store your individual charms here a charm bar done in the silver. Now the blush one comes with a rose gold, which is really pretty. You have two places to put bracelets and a little section if you wanna put necklaces, earrings, whatever you're quite thinking, you can put that added on in here. So here is a look at this one. I'm so excited. I don't know at this point what I wanna put at the top here. Maybe elf beads, maybe troll beads. I'm not sure yet. I'm probably gonna be mixing. Like I was kind of originally thinking one layer for each section, like for like brand, I should say but I think I might end up mixing too. So we'll just see how it goes. I'm gonna film that video separately. So I'm gonna do a separate organization video. Again, if you do wanna see that, hopefully I'll film it like today too as I'm filming this, but stay tuned for that video. It's really fun to like finally be unboxing these. I'm so excited to just get organized. It's so great. Okay, so that plastic is off. And then in here too, they also just have little extras in there to keep it organized. So here is a look at the two charm bracelet holder on the back. It says stackers, which is really nice little there. And it's just so durable and strong. I do get asked um, if these sections come out, you can take these sections out and really customize it to how you wanna organize it. Same with these ones. If you wanna put necklaces, you can take these little pieces out and then they can go back in. I also get asked if um, these are like anti-tarnish resistant or like completely anti-tarnish. And like, I think it really depends on your home and things. They're not like technically anti-tarnish. I do find though that my, my jewelry and my home environment and everything, they don't tarnish that fast to them. Like they do pretty well. I also use, I think you guys have seen me talk about these. I use these a lot. Stackers also does have little sticker inserts that you can add into each of their layers to help reduce tarnishing. I've never tried those out, I'm tempted to. If you have, let us all know down below in the description, um, little comment section, how you find those. Do those work well for you? So, but basically I find Stackers doesn't crazy tarnish my jewelry, but I wouldn't say it doesn't tarnish your jewelry. It kind of just depends. They're not like airtight. The ideal jewelry box is like airtight because that really helps to reduce tarnishing. So here's a look at this layer and a little talk about tarnishing. Next layer, I love this layer. As you guys can see, it has the plastic on it. A little look at this stuff on the back. I feel like it has this weird like stain on it for some reason, but I don't think that's echoed on the jewelry box itself. But this is the six bracelet layer. So it's just for charm bracelets or bracelets you might wanna wear and just have a place to store them. So let's just open this. Here we go. So here is a little look at the six charm bracelet layer. 
And then of course it also has stackers right on the back there. And it's, this is great. I'm very excited. These ones I like for like permanent chambres, the designs that I've done. So I can put a couple here. You could also double them up too. So if you have like two on the same theme or something, you could kind of put them in here. And then the last one I have here is the 25 section layer. Now I got these in hopes that I can actually store Murano glass beads in here. And like, I don't know if they're gonna fit. It's really just like a test to see. I'm really hopeful. Like I definitely can fit some of them, but what I'm kind of envisioning, let me just open this. What I'm envisioning is that they'll all be upright and maybe hopefully there'll be enough space so I can just see the like the size of them. I don't want them flat. Do you guys know what I'm trying to say? Hopefully it makes sense. So that's what I'm hoping to do with this. Um, either way, like I'll be storing Murano glasses in here. I'm just hoping I can have them more upright inside of it if it works out. So here is a look at this section. You could also use this to store rings or earrings or necklaces, lots of different like jewelry items. Of course, again, it still says like stackers on the back, but very excited for this layer. I'm really hoping it'll just help me organize all my Murano glass beads and yeah, so that I can see the colors and stuff. So there's a look at that. And then if you guys can tell, we have a little completed jewelry box. So I'm very excited. Again, it's four layers and you know, you just stack it up and you go and you reach for the tray that you want. So Here's this first one. It's very like similar to my other one. As I mentioned, it's just in the pebble gray color. I really like it almost like it definitely is like a kind of a lightish gray, but it almost has like, depending on like the lighting and everything, like it almost has like a slight blue to it. Not really, but slightly. And I just, I really like it. So that's this first Sacra's jewelry box. It is a tea break. I'm gonna have a quick sip of my matcha. Well, this is so good. And I just love that my friend made me this mug. It's so sweet. Okay, now we're gonna move over to this section. And Rita, my friend, a charm dreamer, if you guys follow her on Instagram, she's the one that told me about this layer because I did not realize you get two charm bars in it. So with the lidded one, you only get one. But with this one, it has a little acrylic glass top. You get two charm bars. So I have never seen this. I'm really excited to open it. And then we have, of course, the other layers too. So let's get started with this one. Here's a quick look at it. And then I actually don't know the name of this one. So let me see if I can find the name. So this is called the glass top charm drawer because it has a pull out drawer. So let's take off the packaging off this and take a look at it. Oh my gosh. I'm really excited for this one just because it's something I haven't seen before. So I think that's always like extra exciting. And I wonder how like, the little drawer is gonna work. So let me hold it up this way. Oh, it's a little stiff. Uh-oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, it's quite stiff. I'm actually like afraid to pull too hard. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so here is a look. I'm just gonna like, I think because it had never been opened, now it's like no problem at all at opening. But here is a look. So you have the acrylic glass top, which I love because you can see these on display when it's closed up. And I just, I love how that looks. It kind of makes me think when I go into a jewelry store and you see all the lovely pieces, you know, like organized on display, but this is so much more personal because it's jewelry that has special meanings and memories for you. And it just, I just think it's a lovely way to display the jewelry. So you can see that you have the two charm bars there. You have the two charm bracelets, so like holder areas. And then you also have three sections in here. So you get an additional section in this one as opposed to the other one. And I'm very excited. So the charm bars are silver again. They're, they're amazing, they're so helpful. I love these. I can also store like glass beads on here or other beads. I'm so excited to see what I end up like putting in here. I'm so excited to just to organize, it's so fun. This is really nice. So that is the first little one. So it's not the little layer, but it is so pretty. Oh, and I forgot to show, of course, stackers on the back of this one. It feels so nice. Okay, I want that one. Can you, can you tell I'm excited? I'm so excited to organize all of these things. And this is so sweet. They also, just so you guys know, I didn't take it off yet, but they have like a little plastic on the handles. So those are on there. I, I usually keep them on for a while though because I find like as I like touch it, you know, your fingerprints get on it. So sometimes it's just kind of prevents it. And then eventually I take it off. Is that silly? I should just take it off probably, right? <laughs> All right, so moving on, 
we have another two charm bracelet layer, which you guys have seen. So here is another look at it. And you can also buy like their long charm bars. You could take this insert out and put that there too if you wanted to do like another place to store charms on the bars. Now I also love these sections. Uh, you can organize like so many things, necklaces, rings, earrings, lots of different things. You could put technically a charm in here or a couple charms in here too. All right, and then you guys have seen both of these layers already. So I'll just quickly share them again. I got another 25 little layer here. And then this one is the six charm bracelet layer because I figured hopefully be again able to organize some charms in here especially Murano glass and then to organize some kind of more permanent charm bracelet designs in here I'm just going to quickly take this out of the plastic here is a look at those two layers with the plastic off and of course it says stackers on the back one thing I just noticed though on the 25 charm layer it says stackers right in the middle I don't know if it's going to let me try to see if I can hold it up to show you guys I just love that detail I didn't notice that until now so these are the last two trays, and I'm keeping this one on the bottom. And then it just stacks up like this, which I think is so cool. I'm so excited. So that is a look at this completed kind of idea of what I have to organize all the bracelets. And then this is my other one. So I'm very excited about here. All right, so this jewelry box is ready to get organized. This one over here is ready to get organized. I am so excited to film that video. I know my battery is low at what I'm currently filming on, but fingers crossed I can charge it pretty quick and be able to film an organization video right after done filming this one. So you'll probably see me in the same outfit basically in the next video. I'm so excited to film that video. If you want to see that, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and then you'll definitely get a notification on when that video goes live. I know you guys really enjoyed my last, you know, Pandora collection organization video and you, a lot of you said that you'd love to see me organize the rest of my like charm bracelet, charm jewelry collection. So I'm really excited to share that video. I was so chit chatty in that. So, but you guys seem to love it. It was such a long video, but knowing you enjoy the longer videos is really helpful for me because Sometimes I try to film where I just try to, you know, make the videos as short as possible. And it's fun to know that sometimes you do want to just hear like the chit chat and the fun and stuff. So thank you for your feedback and all of that. I really do listen to it and take it to heart. So thank you for the suggestions and everything. And yeah, basically that is it for today's video. I'm wishing you all a magical, wonderful rest of your day. Take care and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.